What's going on, everybody? This is Andre Taylor, president of Taylor Made Solutions, and I am so excited because this week we are paying tribute and we are honoring and we are just showering with love, small business owners everywhere we can find them. May 5th through the 11th is Small Business Week, and so we just want to take this time to just, just promote our small business owners. And I am so excited because I have yet another phenomenal guest, none other than the Chief L. Stephen Conway of Momentum First Success Coaching. How are you doing today? Doing awesome, brother. Doing awesome. Happy to be here with you on Taylor May. That, that pleasure, pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love it. I love the energy. All right. So I know you're super busy. I know you got a lot going on. So we like to get straight to it. So I just want to ask you a few questions and I will have you on your way. So. Absolutely. All right. First question is, now that we know your name, we know your company name, uh, I want to know a little bit more in depth about what it is that you do, how you add value to people, how you're a blessing with your small business. Well, what I do, the thing that, that uh, is my passion in helping small business owners, I actually help the business owners and sales professionals really dig into their strategic plan so they can have a step-by-step -step system to actually be successful in the business and the vision and the dream that they want to build for themselves. So that is my point of focus. I do that through coaching, consulting, and facilitating, helping them put their business together. So Awesome. Love it. Love it. Can I ask how long you've been doing that? Um, I've been doing it um, full-time for the past five years, but I actually started uh, about seven years ago while I was still uh, uh, a pilot in the Army. So. Okay, awesome. So you're no rookie at this level. I mean, it, right, it's, it's a long journey, but you, you're, you're in there quite a way, so that, that's awesome. So my question, my next question for you is, you know, a lot of people might think it's like, crazy to start your own business to step out there to take all that risk that's involved you know or maybe what if you fail there's embarrassment I don't know there's like all these different things that come with it what was it to you that caused you to kind of go beyond that and, and step out by faith and make it happen well one of the things that I know for sure is that it's easier to build somebody else's dream. It's easier to build somebody else's business by just going to get employment. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but for me personally, um, I want it to be the, the driver in my future. I want it to be the driver in my family's future. And I know the effort that we put in, um, I know sometimes it's, it's, we don't get out of it what we put in. So. Mm -hmm. For me to build my own meant that either I was going to make it or I was going to fail, but it would be all on me. And I could live with that either way. So really to being able to determine my own future and build that legacy for me and my family in the way that was, was true to me was, was my driving force behind it. Awesome. I love that. That's powerful. He said, I want to be in the driver's seat. There it is. There it is. All my best. I love that. I love that. So, Chief. Can I talk, call you Chief? Absolutely. That's what they call me, bro. Awesome. They, call, they call me. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Knowing what you know now, because you, you got some serious skin in the game. You said, you know, five years full-time, which that says a lot. Uh, seven years, you know, total. You know, if you could go back in time and maybe talk to yourself when you were just getting started, or maybe there's somebody that's watching you right now that they're kind of on the verge of just getting started at that beginning stages, you know, what words of wisdom or advice would you want to pass down to them? Well, first of all, make no assumptions. A lot of times we just don't know what we don't know. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of folks, uh, we know that 50% of businesses uh, fail within the first five years. And mm -hmm. it's due essentially to not having a clear enough vision and building a plan around that vision. So that's what really happens and that's what I help people with. But I would encourage everybody to really build a plan, to really think it out before you actually jump in it. One of the, the, the most profound quotes that I've heard is that your competitive advantage is built before the game ever starts. Meaning what you do before the game starts, what you do, the planning, the preparation, is what's really going to keep you in the game. So plan, have a strategic plan, get a mentor, and be aware that we don't know 
<laughs> what we don't know. So ask somebody that's been there, that's viable. So that, that's really the key. So you, you, you touched on some really powerful points again. I appreciate you sharing that. Um, one thing that stuck out to me is like the mentor piece. Absolutely. Um, you kind of maybe just elaborate on that a little bit more. Like, you know, do you have a mentor or when did you get a mentor or how do you go about getting a mentor? <laughs> how does that whole process work, you know, as a business owner is concerned in your experience? Well, from my experience, the thing is, is most of the things that, that we're doing to build ourselves and build our businesses have been done before successfully by somebody else. And to find a mentor means to find somebody that you can actually build a relationship uh, with that can guide you and, and, and give you those pointers to actually make sure you're not missing those steps. That's something I missed at first. I can tell you, um, I had to start my business over three times okay. because I was doing it the way I thought I needed to do it as opposed to going out and seeking folks that have been there that have done it that can tell me the mistakes that they've made so I don't have to make them. Uh, find a mentor, find somebody in your industry and just <laughs> my tactic was, hey, let me take you out to dinner and okay. buy you a steak <laughs> or something and then let me, let me, let me just um, pick your brain a little bit and start building those relationships because one thing, we, we can't build our business in a, in a bubble. We can't build our business in a bubble thinking we know everything. Uh, get help. Talk to people that are in your industry. Talk to people outside your industry. That's mm. mainly why my business shifted is because I'm a mentor in certain areas in the planning portion and building that business structure to folks that may not have that. So that's part of what I do. And it stemmed out of me not having that initially and having to search and, and really learn the lessons the hard way. Awesome. awesome. Sound advice. Thank you. So, um, again, appreciate your time. As we wrap up, I'm sure there's people watching this. I'm hoping it goes viral. So, oh, yes. Millions of views. <laughs> yeah. So, for the people that are out there watching it or will watch it later, you know, they're saying, you know what? I love what the chief is saying. You know, I want to get a chance to meet him. Maybe I want to hire him or collaborate. I don't know. What's the best way they would? go about uh getting in touch with you well all my contact info is on my website and it's www.lstevenconway.com it's all together l-s-t-e-v-e-n-c-o-n-w-a-y.com or you can just hit me on my cell at uh, area code 256-777-0897 um give me a holler i'm happy to speak with anybody that's made that commitment to go out there and build their own life. I'm, 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 uh, I'm willing because I went through it and anybody that's doing it, I'll grab a hold to them and say, hey, let's ride together. Absolutely. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, Chief L. Stephen Conway of Momentum First Success Coaching. Again, thank you for taking out the time and sharing with us on today. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, brother. Look forward to talking to you soon. Absolutely.